there's some event going on outside and they're making a lot of noise that's why in between if you hear some people you know whoa 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 doing this then do not feel freaked out there is some event going on <laughs> but anyway hey guys harsh here and welcome back to technolobe now a lot of you guys out there might know that i've been using the redmi k20 pro as my daily driver as a matter of fact it's right behind there like acting as a background light so yeah the phone is there but anyway so i've been using that phone as my daily driver and i came across a very interesting article a couple of days ago so that article said that you can overclock the display of redmi k20 pro to 81 hertz i also got a comment on one of my videos saying that it's very easy to overclock the display so i decided to do that now in order to overclock the display you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have root access that's why I had to wait for three days as usual to unlock my bootloader and then install TWRP recovery, then have root access and then overclock my display. But boy was that wait worth it. I absolutely love the 81Hz refresh rate on the Redmi K20 Pro and it works buttery smooth. So it is so smooth, it is so satisfying and you know it makes your experience even better so it takes the experience to a whole new level and i'm pretty sure that you won't go back to a normal 60 hertz display once you use something like 81 hertz or 90 hertz so that is really awesome and i'm really glad that we can do this now please make a note that if you want to do this to your redmi k20 pro then there is a lot of risk involved so the risk factor is high because it's not safe so if something goes wrong the display can be permanently damaged so please keep that in mind now when a company launches a smartphone in the market they want to launch it with you know 100% surety so xiaomi knows that they can overclock the display of the redmi k20 pro to 75 hertz 81 hertz and even 90 hertz but they do not do that because they know that it is risky so they know that if they overclock the display refresh rate, they might get a lot of complaints and a lot of people might face display issues. That's why they keep it at 60 hertz because they are sure that at 60 hertz it is going to perform very good. So that's the main reason why they are not overclocking the display out of the box. But nevertheless, we have a mod available and I'm really glad that developers are working on this so that we guys can have, you know, we nerdy guys can have a very good experience. Now, without beating around the bush too much, let's get to the part where how to do this to your Redmi K20 Pro. And as I mentioned before, please do this at your own risk and please do this if you have experience in custom ROMs and installing TWRP recovery and you know rooting the phone. If you do not have experience in this, then do not do this because it is kind of risky. So number one thing that you have to do is unlock your bootloader. How do you do that? So there's an unlock tool called as me unlock tool. You have to download it on Windows. It's only available for Windows. So download it and you have to unlock your phone. Now, if you have never unlocked your phone before, then you will have to wait for three days until Xiaomi approves your unlock. So once that is done, you can unlock your phone. Now, after unlocking, all your data will be erased. So please keep that in mind as well. So if you want to unlock your phone, back up all your data and then proceed. Once that is done, the next thing that you need to do is install TWRP recovery and root your phone. Now, don't worry if you don't know how to do this. I'll make sure to drop a link to a very good article which I referred to in the description box below. You can follow that article and install TWRP recovery very easily. Now, once TWRP recovery is installed, you need to switch off your phone and then go into recovery mode. How do you do that? It's pretty simple actually. You need to press the power button and the volume up button simultaneously until you see the TWRP logo. Once that is done, you are in TWRP recovery mode and you can start installing the 81Hz mod. Now first up, you need to take backup of the DTDO partition. So go to backup and select only the DTDO partition and take the full backup. Once that is done, now you have to install the file. So I'll make sure to drop a link to both the files, the 75Hz file and the 81Hz file in the description box below. So download any one that you want. I would recommend 81Hz because it's going all the way and you know that's really awesome. So download whatever file you want and then you need to flash it. To flash it, you need to select install and then you need to select an option that is install img file. Once that is done, you have to flash the file and while flashing the file, you have to again select the DTDO partition. So you have to flash the file in the DTDO partition and once that is done, you are good to go and your display refresh rate is at 81Hz 
and you know you can enjoy the glory of it now if anything goes wrong with this procedure then just go back again and do everything step by step and i'm pretty sure that you will get there now you might have noticed that i'm also using the pixel experience rom on my redmi k20 pro the video on that is coming really soon because i want to test that rom fully and then make a video on that so that might come like after one week or a couple of weeks so please stay tuned for that but this video was all about the redmi k20 pro's higher refresh rate mod and i absolutely love the fact that you can do it and you know i'm really glad that i did it because now i cannot go back to a 60 hertz display i am spoiled and i absolutely love this fluid display but anyway that's been it thank you so much for watching this video and i hope that it helped you out in some way or the other and if it did then please let me know about that in the comment section down below also if you haven't yet please subscribe below because it would mean the world to me my name is ash punjabi and see you guys in the next one